Uh, this can be an uh, example of a line integral using a scalar function. So a line integral of a scalar function. And the problem we're going to do, so the scalar function is 3x squared y z. Um, and then you can see the arc length element there, ds. And then uh, I'm going to tell you what the curve is. Um, sometimes it's called a path, because sometimes they're called path integrals. So we have x equals t, y equals t squared, and z equals 2 thirds t cubed. And then t is going to be between 0 and 1. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually calculate the ds. So ds is square root of, and then it's um, x prime squared, which will be uh, x prime is 1, so that's 1, plus uh, y prime, which is 2t squared, so you get 2t, and we're going to square that. And then uh, z prime is uh, 2t squared, and we have to square that. So we end up with this, and then... Uh, that's actually going to have a dt at the end of it, but I seem to have forgotten to write it in. There it is. Um, and then that actually factors into uh, 1 plus 2t, the quantity squared. And then the square root of that, it's actually the absolute value of 1 plus 2t, but t is between 0 and 2, so it's always positive, so uh, we can drop the absolute values. All right, so we calculated ds. Um, so now really the problem looks like this. So we still have our curve. And now it's just uh, like a really crazy substitution problem. We're going to substitute a lot of stuff. Um, so we have that. And uh, here we go. So we get uh, 3. And then x is equal to t, so it's going to be t squared. And then y is equal to t squared, so t squared. And then z is equal to 2 thirds t cubed, so substitute that in. So we substitute all that. And then for ds, we substitute this. All right, and now it's just a normal integral. So 2, and then we end up with uh, t to the 7th. So the 2 is the 3 and 2 thirds multiplied together is just 2. And then t squared, t squared, and t cubed is t to the 7th. And then we still have the ds right there, which is that. And then I'm just going to distribute. Hopefully, if you're at this point, you can uh, finish these sorts of things off on your own. But uh, plus 1 times the reciprocal, plus 1 times the reciprocal, 0 to 1. Plug in 1, plug in 0, you just get 0, and then uh, common denominator. So we get 13 over 20. So uh, that's the value that I get, and uh, that's an example of a line integral of a scalar function. So I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.